good evening to you all welcome back to the youtube channel it's your favorite village boy mr ghana baby right here i've never been tired this way man i mean i've never seen a crazy itinerary like this before like we film in the morning we film in the afternoon we film in the evening so we are here at a beautiful resort called Entoto Park. I mean, we just arrived. It's um, 8 p.m. Ethiopian time. It looks so pretty, even though I don't, I've never seen anything yet, but I can see the lightning and everything. It looks so unique. Believe me, um, it's evening already, but <laughs> I want to tell you guys that I've never seen anything like this before. Just um, waiting to see where I'm going to sleep. And then, yeah. Maybe before I go, I'll show you a bit of what happens at night and um, we're going to continue in the morning. Right. So I didn't come here alone. Yeah? I came with the Ethiopian airline um, country manager for Nigeria, but no. she lives in Abuja. Yes, I'm the uh, of course, I need Abuja to, manager. Exactly. I need to say Nigeria, then I specify that okay. Abuja to be precise. You know, how, how, I mean, is it your first time here? Yes. It's my first time. You're Ethiopian and your first time here. Why? Yeah, because I've been. It, it's actually it's a recently built uh, accommodation. It's really? Been, yes. It's recent. It's, yeah, it's a recent. As you can see, I'm excited too. I'm excited to see it. It's very really? beautiful. It's beyond imagination. Be, I, I love that. Beyond imagination. This is what I wanted to say, but I couldn't get exact the right phrase to say. It. Yes. Well, you know, I mean, this is the most talked about place in Addis Ababa. I never knew that it's even recent. Yeah. Okay. So I finally got um, the key to my room, the 207. And we are walking in the middle of the forest. Man. Oh my God, it's, I can't even see myself, but it's so pretty out here, man. I don't know if the camera can do justice to what my naked eyes is seeing. It's absolutely stunning. Like, <laughs> you see the lights and all here, the trees. And, your favorite village boy walking. Oh my god, that looks like tent. Oh, okay. Wow, I don't know if you guys can see. These are tents. Jeez. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh man, like 207. This is me on my way to my room. Jeez, this is a whole forest, bro. Okay. It's a tent. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. This is gonna be my first time sleeping in a tent. Oh my goodness. What? Looks so pretty. But it's not gonna get cold at night. Yeah. Extremely cold? No, no extremely. But I think I have a, a, heat, huh? a heater, yeah? So? Oh, okay. You put in here? Nice. It's been so you long remember? since. You see? Okay. Nice. It's gonna be hot. And these bicycles are for what? For riding. Riding? Yeah. Inside a park? Yes. Because it's far, yeah? To get yeah, yeah. all. Okay. Thank you so much, yeah? Okay. My key. Okay. Thank you. So I'm finally here. This is where I'm gonna spend the night. Whew. Looks so good, but it's rather unfortunate that I'm gonna sleep here alone. Oh my goodness. Yo, I mean coming here reminds me of Singapore man. Just look behind me, man. Can you see it? Have you been to Gardens by the Bay in Singapore? This looks exactly like Gardens by the Bay in Singapore. I was there somewhere in 2013. Seeing this brings back a lot of memories. I was actually there with Trudy, but unfortunately I'm here alone. Oh, wow. Come with me, man. Like, jeez. Like, who is the brain behind this? I definitely need to meet the person, the brain. Oh my God. Yo, come. I, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm seeing. Is that a this survival right there? Whoa! Jeez! Can you can you all agree with me that the person behind this is genius? You're out here and you can see the entire Addis Ababa 
over there. God damn it. This place is really spectacular. I don't even know the kind of words that I need to describe it, but if you're seeing what I'm seeing, let me know the best word that you're gonna use to describe this place. What? I love it, man. You know, I thought I'm gonna sleep tonight, but I was told that you have dinner, you know, you need to eat, because I've been doing a lot, so I need to eat tonight. So this is the restaurant, this is how it looks like. Oh my goodness, like, this place, is on another level and it's so huge like I don't understand like I, I was at um, Crypto and the restaurant was extremely big and just like this one can you guys see it so big man what look at that come with me you want to eat with me the only thing is that I don't like showing myself eating on camera but yeah I'm gonna have um, dinner right here but this architecture just looks exactly like the one that I was just before this video. Yeah, so just gonna be out here, have dinner, and we're good to go. All of the snow in this winter land used to look so pretty. Now making me moody. In the deep woods alone with my feet. Too much time thinking in the end you'll be what? with me. It's 8 8. I've never slept for that long. You know, when I go here, I thought it's gonna be so cold that I won't be able to sleep, but this is actually the longest time I've ever slept in a very long time. H38. Wow. God, I mean, you know, I think it's because of this heater. The heater was so helpful, man. The heater actually reminds me of China. When during winter, you have to sleep with heaters. Oh my God, I'm so tired. So, you come, turn it, turning it up. Oh my God, wow. Good morning. Look where I am, in the middle of a forest, out here, jeez, this is what is in front of me, can you guys see it, we got a lot of tents right here, so many, even though I don't know how many tents they have in here, but I definitely know that I'm going to find someone in here to speak to, so, like in front of me, is this not a Christmas tree, looks like a Christmas tree, let me know if um, it's the Christmas tree. Look at that. So, this is where I am. Wow. Last night, before I dozed off, I actually heard the sound of um, hyenas or maybe wolves or something. I, I definitely need to ask if there are wild animals in here because this place is a forest, you know. It's a forest and they built... Um, they left the trees and then they built within it. They built within it. So I think there are still wild animals in here. I don't know, but when I was about to sleep, I heard like hyenas shouting, Ooh! like something like that, man. It was so scary that I had to doze off. Yeah, really scary that I had to doze off. So yeah, this is how it is, man. It feels so peaceful out here, man. Jeez, so peaceful out here. Um, can you guys see this? How they've um, put the uh, water heater in between the trees. Like they didn't cut down anything. They just build around the trees and it's amazing. Wow, look at that. There's another water heater right there. I love it right here. Really love it. I wanna cry. I love being here, oh my god. <laughs> Please, if you ever come to Utopia, make sure you visit Entoto Park. <laughs> yeah, because especially those of you who love nature, you would definitely love this place. If I love it, I know you will love it too.
You know, I, I, I thought Toto is owned by you. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, because they told me that the, the same person who was Kuriftu, the same person who was in Toto, which means we have Kuriftu in Toto Park. Yeah, as so, a subsection. So who owns in Toto Park then? So it's a government park. It's a national park. Really? Yeah. So it's a it, national park. It doesn't look like. I know. <laughs> See, I, I've been to so many countries. Anything that is owned by a government, people don't take care of it. Very true. But <laughs> this place looks neat, looks clean. Everyone is preserving their part. So I thought everything is owned by Kriftu. Not knowing Kriftu existing here. No. So which is, how many resorts do you have? How many Kriftu do you have? Uh, we have four at the moment. Oh, and yeah. we're going to open up another one in two months. Tell us something that we need to know about Entoto Park before we go to Kriftu. So the Entoto Park, uh, there, it's a, basically a government initiative that uh, was, I think, conceived towards the very end of 2019. Uh, that was when the idea came. And then they approached a bunch of private investors that wanted to uh, operate businesses within this park because most of us uh, understood the potential because the proximity, as you can see, the city yeah, is right here. It's close to the city. So this is like the ideal destination for families. Um, it provides access uh, to those who uh, would never gain access to things like this, especially for people who can't leave the country. Mm. Uh, it uh, provides you with so many opportunities for activities that are now found in the park with no entrance fee whatsoever. Yeah. So uh, students are free to come in, walk, enjoy the location. Um, it's truly a, a very uh, monumental project. And the reason why it's clean is because Everybody, it's a, a, one of the directives of the park is to make sure that you take care of your own area. Mm. Even the, the, the locals that have been employed inside this area to make sure that they clean the, uh, the, the road, which is around 15 kilometers within the park. So that's why it uh, has a good hygiene standard. Which means it's also creating employment for the people of Ethiopia. Very true. Even uh, during the construction project alone, there was over a thousand people working in here. Uh, to make sure that this project it was done. So how many private sector exist in here right now? Um, I would venture to say maybe 15 to 16. Uh, this consists of cafes, uh, activities, restaurants. Um, there's even a clinic <laughs> inside the location. Whoa. Um, governmental wise, uh, they have a art gallery inside the location. There's an amphitheater that's about to be inaugurated next month that can host 5,000 people. So a lot of concerts are going to happen there. Mm. You have this telescopic view um, that showcases the whole entire city. city. So there's quite a lot of things to do here, especially if we, once we go into our section, uh, you're going to see quite a lot of activities. Can you help me clap for the uh, Ethiopian government? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a round of applause because, you know, I've always been saying that it, for Africa to work, the government needs to know how to work with the private sector Very so true. that things will move forward on the continent. Okay. You know what? Since you've told me everything about this place, can we go into the park so that we know, I know more about the place? Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. One thing that I really love about this place is the road. The yeah. road connectivity within the park. That one too was sponsored by the government. Yes, so uh, they provided the, the road infrastructure. Um, this is actually a, a big project for them in terms of roads. It's around 15 kilometers within the park. They also build like parking all over the location. Um, and just like the general like, you know, public facilities were constructed by them as well. What does this signify? So I think this was made for uh, COVID. COVID? Uh, yeah, because it has like the hospital sign. And so, that's the so COVID vaccine, uh, uh, the, uh, how do you call it? Like the virus. The virus, yeah? Yeah. So it's kind of like a monument, kind of like, uh, 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 like to, to encourage all the nurses and doctors that were pushing through, uh, they created this. That's brilliant. Yeah. This <laughs> Ethiopian, Ethiopian sign in here. I know, now it's become iconic because yeah. they placed this actually near the palace as well. Um, it's like a, a big spot for people to take photos. You have to like stretch out your arms and make a T. Oh, okay. Oh, you have to stretch your arms to make a T. Yeah, so you can complete the, the full word. Amazing. Can you stretch your arms and make a T? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So now you are Ethiopia. Yes. I'm a second alo.
Uh, this is the first glamping uh, campsite inside Ethiopia. The first, <laughs> the first. Uh, especially when you can see that it has like proper uh, like uh, uh, function and capabilities, such as having like bathroom, a proper bed. You have your own hammock, your own grill. Comes with two mountain bikes. Yeah. Even there's a heated blanket as well. Yeah, so we have I... 25 of these right now, and then we're adding another 25 by December. I want to ask you a question, yeah, sure. because I spent a night here. Yes. Bro, around 1 a.m. Yeah. I had, I don't know if it's hyenas or wolves or fox. <laughs> Man, like I was so scared, bro. It's hyenas for sure. Hyenas? Yes. There's a lot of hyenas that actually live inside this forest. Not as many as before because there's a fence around the na uh, national park, but you can still see them at nighttime. Um, they've caused no harm to anybody, but they're just a really interesting uh, tourist attraction as a whole. But they do keep you, people up sometimes. <laughs> I should have stepped out to see the hyenas. I could have <laughs> shake hands with the hyenas. Oh, hi, my name is Maya. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> when you get to Crifty Resort inside Entoto Park, it's not just about sleeping, but there are so many activities that you're going to enjoy in here to make your stay memorable. And the first one oh, is go-kart. Also enjoy paintball if you want to. And one of the things that I said never again was zip line. And I finally broke my virginity about horse riding. Thank you. Very I mean, much. I'm meeting my subscribers everywhere. Yeah? yeah, I just want to know: Is it your first time here? Yeah, I'm here for the first time. Really? Yeah. How do you feel being here for the first time? Yeah, it's amazing. The nature and the way they did it, walking and this cable car. And this was not here before. Yeah, it was not there before. It was just uh, 
a jungle where women just collect firewood. Nobody, nobody is interested to come in and just uh, collect the firewood. So it's turned it out to be a very nice spot, as you can see. It's a pleasure, man. Yeah. How are you doing, man? Good, how are you? Good. It seems like you feel it to here. I mean, I feel good to be here. This place is super beautiful. Uh -huh. uh, but I just want to know, how do you feel coming in here? Mm, I live in here. Yeah. You live here? Yeah. Really? So, wow. And I come in with my family. And with my oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, you come here every day or what? No, just, just today. But, I just today. but I, I heard this place is new. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is new. I just came in the first time here, and I enjoy, I enjoy it. Like, you know. how, how do you feel having this in the country? Um, you know, like if I feel good, and uh, I wanna be like more like park and everything mm. everywhere. You know, just our natural is really good. So, all right, man. Yeah. It's a pleasure speaking with you, bro. It's like you don't cut down trees in here. No, thank you very much. You know, for us to strategically find these spots, it took uh, quite some time, uh, especially because there's a lot of mandates where we couldn't cut down trees whenever we felt like it, um, especially because there's a lot of indigenous plants inside uh, this forest, because uh, the majority of the, the plants inside this forest are actually eucalyptus plants and uh, trees. But there's other ones like this one over here uh, that are only found inside Ethiopia. And there's uh, very strict regulations <laughs> on these. I really want to know what really inspired this, bro. Uh, to be honest, what inspired this was that uh, we've been to many different glamping sites, uh, some inside Kenya, some inside South Africa. And then we saw that there was a very strong need for this inside our own country, Ooh. especially because it's a much more e eco-friendly model for building resorts. Um, you can see it blends in very well with the actual scenic environment, mm. especially in this forest in particular. And I think it's something that uh, can really inspire other people to build in different areas inside Ethiopia because it's a much quicker model for making a resort. What was the major challenge when we were setting up this? Um, since it's our first time, it's just like understanding the structure, uh, what works for our country in particular, because there's not always a copy paste way of doing things in other places so it's also figuring out how to deal with also the cold uh, climate inside this location Vision, yeah because that's why uh, we've added the the heaters we're going to add more heaters in the future based off of customer uh, uh, feedback as a whole mm. because for us uh, without listening to to people who've actually stayed in the resorts there's no way for us to improve but i think uh, we have uh, a good model at the moment and then we also can see you have your grills over here, all from Weber. Mm. So if you ever want to cook your own food, especially if people want to come just for the weekend, grill the steak, make a burger, impress anybody, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have your mountain bikes, yeah. you got the bed over here with the heated blanket. You have your bathroom, shower, toilet. Um, only thing missing is the hyena in the room. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And then you have your hammock over here as well. Yeah. So you can just take your time to read your book, eat your breakfast, relax over here. And to be honest, there's not much that can really disturb you here. Yeah. So this is the first and the largest restaurant that we have uh, inside the park. I had dinner here yesterday. Okay. And I was wondering that why do you guys build like large restaurant? Because the one at Crypto is also big. Yes. Maybe your dad is a fan of big things, maybe. Uh, to be honest. <laughs> As you can see, like this restaurant in particular, it's supposed to be able to host uh, large functions, conferences, banquets, birthday parties. In Ethiopia, wedding culture is very strong and we usually ha don't have under 500 people at a wedding. Oh, okay. So, uh, this is actually one of those venues that we have. And on the weekends, Saturdays and Sundays, this is completely fully booked. Not a single spot. That's impressive. Yeah. How many people works in here? Inside this park? Inside this park for uh, Kuriftu Resort? For Kuriftu in particular, we have close to 300 people working here. Wow. Because there are so many different uh, activities uh, that we have here and we also want to make sure we have the, the, the correct amount of staff and of course employing the local community is very uh, important for us. Um, even another thing that is known about our company is that we employ 80% women. 
Hmm. Even our management team is 85%. Because women knows how to take care of things. Yes. <laughs> Very true. Now my sister actually moved back. She might be uh, gunning for my job. So we'll see. Really? <laughs> Yo, that looks like me though. <laughs> this uh, statue is actually the first uh, art piece that we placed in this area. We actually found it on the road. It was actually sca it was uh, abandoned. And then what we did was we added a little basket to it and put uh, yeah. the 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 vegetation inside there and a little bit of lights but this is the first thing uh, that we came that came to this area for the decor at least why should someone choose Kruv to resort um i think it's because we're not your regular brand um it doesn't seem fabricated uh copy paste everything is you know standardized to a certain degree because a lot of this uh, the ideas that flow through our company are very creative and our CEO and my father doesn't allow us to think within a certain comfortable range. He always uh, pushes us to come to the next level. And this is a combination of ju not just uh, his work, my work, but so many different uh, parts of our organization down to the masonry work team, to the woodwork team. So uh, it's something that you can't really uh, predict, which is why I think people would like to come to our locations. I want to say thank you so much for taking me around. I really appreciate your time. And uh, yeah, I'll see you at the other side, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it.